Dinosaurus Productions, and I know I haven't done this in a while, but uh, welcome back to Cancelled Kaiju Film Friday, the show where I discuss giant monster movies that were sadly never made. You can find all of this information in the big book of Japanese giant monster movies, The Lost Films, one of my favorite books, where you can read up on information about giant monster movies that never came to the light of day in Japan, and even some stuff from America, but let's get to today's um, topic now. We'll be continuing our um, Godzilla, ver- Godzilla 7 story arc, and, and basically, um, before there was Godzilla vs. Destroya, there were many other ideas, and today we're going to be looking over two major ones. Now, um, you can look on my playlist for all these videos if you want to see more. But let's get into this. Alright, let's find the right spot, and here we are. Supposedly, talk then turned to Godzilla versus Bagan. Takeo Takeo Okawa, sorry if I mispronounce any of these names, um, confirmed to Dave Milner that he had heard rumors while the 1995 Godzilla film was in development, but knew nothing of its story details. Some gossip at the time suggested the story would be very much like Godzilla vs. Giant Monster Baron, though not set in the future. With Bagan taking the Baron role and the addition of Mothra to the heroic monster roster, as well as the Goten from Atragon. Other rumors persisted that a Bagan suit existed on the Toho lot, so around the time perhaps such a film was seriously considered. In any case, the, ne- the next known step in the evolution of Godzilla vs. Destroyer was very similar to the finished film and tentatively titled Godzilla vs. Baru Baroi. I believe it's pronounced, I don't know. In it, in it, Godzilla would battle a transforming monster with ties to the Oxygen Destroyer, in addition to a bevy, I think that's how it's pronounced, of potential mecha foes. Among them were New Super X3, more or less a new version of Goten with three drills instead of one, all of which would be fired as missiles. General Aso, Aso, I don't know, was meant to pilot the Goten, and though this could be a translation error, error, it would all it would seem that the Goten would somehow tie into Aso's past in some way. There was also talk of a possible Neo Oxygen Destroyer to be used at the very end of the film, possibly via the Goten. The early conception of the enemy monster Baru Baroi was similar to Hedora in that it began as a group of small tadpole-like monsters that would merge into a large one, like destroy a Baru Baroi. Baru Baroi is found in Tokyo Bay where the original oxygen destroyer detonated and taken to the Yamane Paleontology Research Lab where it preys upon other creatures. Baru Baroi is later transported into the G-Force laboratory where it escapes and may have faced off with the military in a similar scene to the SWAT set piece from Godzilla vs. Destroya. A stage of Baru Baroi was designed that evolved due to feeding off Godzilla on Birth Island and was disabled to fire a heat ray. Another form was said to have fed off of insects in the South Seas. Yet another form of Baru, Bar- Baru Baroi was actually captured 40 years ago fed on an octopus and took on its tentacled form, and indeed some forms of Baru Baroi look like an upright biolante with six arms and two legs. Well, that is going to be it for um, this portion of um, this um, saga. So uh, we got through the Baggin and Baru Baroi section, and uh, you know what? I I kind of forgot about um 
those concepts, and I really do like them, and I think all of the ideas we've seen so far um, would have all been ideas for, well, would all have been great ideas for Godzilla films. At least they are conceptually. I think any of them would have been a, like a worthy, um, worthy movie, um, of the praise destroy, destroy, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next time to, uh, maybe, uh, hopefully finish this portion of the book. I don't know, there might be another video. There might be, a, like, two videos after this about this. Godzilla 7, but I don't know um, when, I don't know what, what's going to happen with them. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, I know a lot of you watch them, and uh, I really thank you all for that. I've gotten a lot of videos, I've gotten a lot of views on these videos, and they're some of my, they're probably the most viewed videos I have on the channel. And I'm really glad you all um, are enjoying this series. I know it's a, this is a popular subject, unmade Godzilla films. And I'm really glad to present them here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I've been pretty busy lately. And, you know, I'm kind of, I just don't always really um, like making these videos that much. You know, there, there's other videos I prefer to make more, but... Every time I come back to these, I just find myself enjoying it a bit more. Sometimes I just forget. Sometimes I'm too lazy to make the video, but this time I wanted to get the video done. So, uh, thank you all for watching these videos. See you in the next one. Goodbye.